All right, let me give you guys a little situation report on the pressure washer install. We hit a little bit of a snag. Um, you know, we went ahead and did all this plumbing and whatnot and didn't really think about it, but it is what it is. Um, the mount points, so like the hose reel for instance, so this is the part that mounts on the wall. This is six inches. Well, the framing, so the studs, right, which are here and here are 14 inches, I believe, or 16 inches. So, I mean, six inches is nothing. With all the weight of that hose reel and then the 100 foot hose on there, there's no way you can drywall anchor that in there. So, we cut the drywall out, put some one by 10s or 12s in there, whatever, got the solid foundation, put the drywall back on, and now have to do some drywall repair, which is just gonna take some time. Have to float uh, some of this out here. So we have the first layer down with the tape, um, and just now you gotta do one layer, let it sit, do another layer, just kinda float it back out. But when that's all taken care of, we'll have a nice sturdy, I mean this this from, from here to here, this is all blocked out behind there, so it's solid as a rock. So the CR spotless, you can see some of the pen marks here. That'll go about here. We'll have about an eight inch gap. The hose reel will go here, that's the top of the hose reel right here. So the hose reel will go here, and then the shelf will go here, and the pressure washer will sit here. And then we'll do our piping last here, so you can see some of the Prevost piping. So what'll happen is, this is a bend tube here. We'll have a 90 degree coming out of there, right? And then that'll bend it out from the wall. That'll come then into the CR spotless. We'll loop back around. We'll have a feed then to bypass the CR and come right up into the pressure washer. Unfortunately, we're a little delayed on this, but um, you know, it is what it is. It's, it's, again, it's a custom project, a custom install, and if you want it to be nice and be perfect, then you're gonna have to put the time into it. This is what we had to do, um, especially with the hose reel. That's the biggest piece you're gonna be using every single time you use this. Just be mindful of that, and uh, we'll get the drywall done, get it repainted, and uh, get on with the install. Ladies and gentlemen, we have drywall done. Now, Matt's doing some lovely yeah, we got a little baby. This is like when you don't know what you're doing painting, you have one of these. You shouldn't even have one of these in your house, ever. Come All right, on. beyond that, we have to give a big thank you to my uncle. <laughs> uncle Gene, uncle Gene came rest. over at like 11 o'clock last night and slapped on a coat and just killed it. I mean, I was like, ready to quit. <laughs> we, we I was were done, both. I was checked out. So Uncle Gene, if you are watching, Thank you, sir. We're finishing up the painting here, and then hopefully, hopefully we can get the rest of this mounted. I pay people to come in and do drywall and paint because I don't want to deal with it. Certain things in life, I don't carry tools for because I have people to do it. So you know what? That's that. We're making some progress here. As you can see, we got the CR on here. We have the hose reel. We have the shelf for the pressure washer. We're getting ready to mount the hose. We'll wrap it up in here. But everything's good to go. This is what, 100 foot, Matt? Oh, yeah, 100 feet. 100 so, feet. I mean, look, it goes all the way down. It'll go down to your neighbor's house. But yeah. It fits nicely and it doesn't hurt to have extra footage, you know? Yeah. So, we'll, it's all tightened in here. So, then remember, this this will come out and this will be the feed up to the pressure washer. Secured in here with a nice mount. So, we'll go ahead and get the hose started, wrapped up. We're making progress. The Krenzel is secured down. We have the power cord dropped here for now, but they gave you like a 15 mile power cord, so we're gonna cut that because it's going right here. Hose reel's in, CR's in, we have the plug out of the main feed, so this is gonna be the joint that comes out of the wall, kinda has to kick out a little bit, it's gonna come into here, and also tee up straight in here, so if you don't wanna use deionized water, you just go straight up into the pressure washer, or you can shut that valve off, send it through here, it'll loop around, come back, and we'll go through. So right now, we're just getting ready to plumb all this out and measure 15 times and cut once. So here's the nerve racking part, this bent pipe that brings the tubing out away from the wall. We only have one of. See, that might be dead on. Let me. Oh wow! It'll be a little. It'll be a little tall, but there's a little play in this, a tiny little. Yeah, because it's a, it's their compression fitting, so you can slide them a tiny bit. But once we have this pipe done, everything else we have excess long piping, and it's just teeing up and, and going up. 
it's straightforward from there. Okay, so let's figure out our dimension here. What do we need to do now? So we have to cut this guy right. short. Which who cares about? I mean, this one we can cut yeah. 10 times if we needed to. Yep. But if that's right up to it, it needs to go to here, right? Difficult part is done now. Matt's done this in his garage, but getting this T fitting and everything lined up perfectly from what he's saying is is the worrying part. Now it looks like we have it all. Yeah, I think we're good. I mean, the good news is you can't fit a level in here, so it looks close enough. <laughs> it looks level. I mean, it looks pretty darn good. Yeah. Now, so, if you are worried, maybe Matt will send you two of these if you want to buy one. What are they, 40 bucks? Yeah, it's like 30 something dollars. Now, you know, you, the, the way you can tell if it's working is that these all seat, like if they're not seating and they won't torque down properly, then... So you're talking about right on the, the top part here. Yeah. This this piece right here, if there's a big gap in there... Right, then it didn't then seat. Then it didn't seat, so you want to make right. sure it's flush. You can barely get your fingernail in right. there. And, it, and it, won't, it won't be able to torque it down properly, and then you'll know yeah. you didn't do something right. Like it's not lined up enough to work. Good morning, guys. We are on day one, two... Two, seven. three, day seven, but whatever day it is, as you can see, there's some stuff on the wall. Now, last night we were fighting a leak with this inlet hose. This was leaking initially first. We got this squared away, and then this was leaking. What we ended up finding was we had Teflon tape on here like we did every other fitting around here, and um, it just was bunching up. It wasn't doing anything, so it was slowly seeping out of here and slowly seeping out of here. So we actually took the Teflon tape off uh, just to test to see if it would hold and it's been holding so uh, Right now the water kind of stops here. This is where the valve is so it come out of the wall This is kind of my main on off valve, uh, but we tested everything got the gun in there it's Great, so what we have left to do is we have to cut we're gonna cut down this 200 freaking foot Cord so we'll cut that we'll mount it to the wall similar to how this is mounted over here, we'll mount it, sorry, not to the wall, but to the shelf, and just have a small little cord run like that to there. So we'll button up that. We have to mount the wand holder here, the Mosmatic wand holder, this guy right here. So he goes in there. And we have him mounted up. We can touch everything up. We just have a couple spots to touch up right here. Little spots over here for moving the shelf around and whatnot. Power cord cut, mocked up. So this will plug into here, like so. And then here's the rest of the long two mile cord, but we have it mocked up in here. We're gonna cut it in here, solder it, so that it's a nice clean look. This isn't touching nice and loose here. So we'll have a nice clean kind of tucked away loop. You ready to roll? Should I cut it? Should I yeah. do it? Do it. Now going back. We have this finally complete after how many hours? <laughs> a lot. Well, I mean, yeah, I mean, the drywall stuff took forever, but I yeah. mean, yesterday, we, I mean, we probably have six or seven hours in the yeah. actual instance. And I would say a lot, large part of it was the piping and stuff. Yeah. But here's the final product. It, it looks kind of massive and bulky around the hose rail area, but it, it's not. It's the lens on this camera. It's kind of tucked up against the wall here. I mean, you can see it's not too far out at all. But a Matt who curated and designed this um, to kind of just give me a quick quick walk through here for you guys to understand what's what's going on real quick and what we did. So yeah, real real you know, quick for me. Yeah, anyway. high, high level, yeah. Prenzel pressure washer, a pressure washer at the top. The big claim to fame on this is it does 2.1 gallons per minute. Everybody cares about pressure. Yeah. Detailers, we care about flow. More flow means more water, which means more cleaning, yeah. right? We don't want to blow the paint off the car. So the pressure washer, um, well, if we were to start at the beginning, the water comes out of the wall yep. and then feeds uh, the pressure washer through a direct path this way. That's why we have the valves here, yep. right? So we can turn off the deionizer or have the water flow directly into the yep. pressure washer. Pressure washer then feeds through a three foot jumper hose to a hundred foot, this is a MTM, Sess Garage exclusive um, blue uh, 100 foot hose. This is a non-marking hose and it's a lot more pliable than other options, right? So we don't need 100 feet, but yeah. we got a 100 foot hose reel, so why not, yeah. right, is the philosophy. 
hose reel um, uh, feeds our gun. Whether you choose to do the ultimate high end, the Mosmatic, or you do the all stainless uh, MTM SGS 28, uh, both have a built in swivel so that when I'm working with my 100 foot hose that I don't have it bind up. Yep, when it's under pressure. Right, so I don't have to deal, deal with kinks and things like that. We get to holster our wand and gun here in our Mosmatic wand holder on the side, which is pretty slick. Yeah. Full T304 stainless. Just nice amazing. touch too, it's just, it's... Yeah, yeah, yep. just looks clean. Um, and then of course we have the option to do uh, spot free. This is deionized water. So this will pull all the minerals out of the water from, even if you had a softener, you remember water softeners still have minerals in the water, yeah. so they'll still spot on your car out in the sun. This deionizes or essentially distills the water and gets all of the junk out of it. And of course we have our sick Prie hose bib over here. Sweet hang on this thing. So this is this is uh, the bucket filler then too, so yeah. you're not sitting there. So this will be a bucket filler. We have a fire hose on here. This will change to the atoms. So when you get this, hose. when you have this system, you don't need a garden hose anymore. Yeah. So we just need a little stubby here to fill up your buckets. And if I ever needed a garden hose for some reason, you could it's a standard, you quick yeah. disconnect this off and uh, you have it. And then the last thing we did was we, we cut we the modified. power cord as we showed you guys. And here's our little, we, we made sure the soldering joint was up here. So we have a nice drip loop coming in here. Everything's GFI circuit, everything's buttoned up and this is loose. So it's not rubbing against the the if, shelf. If for some reason you wanted to take this off and take it somewhere and use it for something, we have two disc quick, quick disconnect points here. We have wing nuts that you could uh, take off by hand and take the pump wherever you want. You know, so you could, if you had another hose or something, you could take it and do some mobile detailing or something yeah. if, you, if you really needed to. Mine's planning on being indefinitely mounted up there, but this is also, um, I've talked about it before, this is a dedicated 20 amp right over to the panel on the wall over off the side. So that is, this receptacle is 20 amp. It's dedicated for this setup. So it is recommended with the foam cannon um, that we, we do do that. Yeah, you have good, solid, clean power coming to the pump because at times it'll draw quite a bit of, quite yeah. a bit of uh, juice out of, out of your wall. So it's so, sick, it looks amazing. So the, yeah, I mean, it, it's, I, I can't wait to just start using it and cleaning and, and everything like that. So if you guys don't know Matt, Matt is the founder of Obsessed Garage. It's basically 110% everything, like even, even <laughs> well, tape. that's the goal. Even, um, his website, obsessedgarage.com, he's got a store, um, detailing supplies. He designed this, he built this. This was in his noggin and kind of just out of out of years and, and trials of, of how he wanted things done. This is what came out of it. And I am super, super excited to use this and have this. So um, thank you, Matt, for coming up and helping me install it. Yeah, this um, is I'm excited to see it in all the videos. Yeah, right yeah well, it's gonna be, I mean, it's, the, the game plan's to wash in here. Um, you know, I have plastic base for everything sealed off and the, the garage is on a slight grade, so everybody who's like, you're gonna get mold, uh, we'll, we'll be fine, we'll deal with it. But I'm excited to use it. Thank you again, buddy. Check out Matt's YouTube channel and his store and everything in the description below. We'll see you guys soon. See ya.